So DeepSeek is a very popular AI assistant, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be making the rounds very soon. So if you want to go and give it a try, I'll go and give you a breakdown on exactly how to use it. It's just another one of these AI assistants that you can use, but this one seems to be very popular. So if you make your way over to your Apple App Store or your Google Play Store, if you go ahead and just search up DeepSeek AI Assistant, you will see this particular application come up. So this is what it looks like. You can kind of go through and read more about it. It is an AI assistant powered by the DeepSeek VI you know, version 3 model. So it's you know very similar to ChatGPT as you can probably see. It's almost like ChatGPT and Google Gemini combined. That's kind of what the UI kind of looks like. So go ahead and download this application. And when you go ahead and download it, it will ask you to basically log in via either your Google account, Apple ID account, or you can you know, sign in with a different method if you want to create an account. So when you come into the panel, this is what it basically looks like. Now it looks very, very similar to ChatGPT. In the top left corner, you'll see these two lines. These two lines will basically just showcase to you existing chats that you've already done. So all the existing AI chats that you've done with DeepSeek, they will come up right here. If you look in the top right corner, this little plus button right up there, you can create a new chat. So if you want to quickly just jump into a new chat, you can just tap into that up there. This bottom portion is where you can start asking questions. So you can go through and you can start asking it questions. So you can ask it questions like, you know, like how many planets are there? Like you can ask it anything you want to right now, how many? So I can ask it a basic question like that. I can go and send it off and this is what it's going to look like. So it's actually pretty fast. It does seem to be faster to actually respond back than ChatGPT, which is pretty interesting. And you can go through and you can still keep messaging around with it. You can keep chatting with it. You can go through and create a new chat if you want to by clicking on new chat. At the bottom, you have deep think R1. So you can go through and enable this if you want to. This will be just, I think, a more advanced version. It's like the paid version of ChatGPT, but you can try it for free. You can search for things on the internet if you wanted to be able to search on the internet for what you're asking for. So if I were to ask for like, what is the stock price today of a certain stock, I'm sure it'll be able to Google it. You can see if I go ahead and enable the Google, the web search, it will go ahead and start searching on the web for it. And it's searching the web, found results, and it will tell me what the stock price probably is today. This is actually a little bit slower. So these responses are faster. These ones are actually slower. You can see it's still searching. ChatGPT probably would have responded you know, by now. So you can see this is still going to be a work in progress for sure. Clicking on the bottom, you can click on this plus button if you want to. So you can go through and I guess it's telling me that uploading files is available. It's unavailable for searching while you're searching. So you can upload files and stuff too. So I can stop this right now if I wanted to. And I can go through and I can click on the plus button. And I would theoretically be able to start uploading files like images and photos and those things. So... That's basically how you use DeepSeek. You just keep using it as you normally would like with any other AI assistant. I'm sure if you click here and you click on the bottom, you can access your profile too. So you can go through and you can get access to your profile if you want to. You can delete all the chats, you can delete your account. But that's basically how you use DeepSeek AI. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.